What's up guys, Sandman PR Vlog, my homeboy Brian, departing from Grundy, Pikeville found because they're having their first ever Comic Con. Yo, this is exciting, we're, we're, Brian and I have been going to cons our whole lives, and you've been to some major ones, bro. Yeah. Like New York. I've not been to New York, I've been to Chicago. You've done Chicago. We've been to inner city, like metropolitan cons. The kind of con where you literally are shoulder to shoulder with everyone as you move. Yes. <laughs> you pretty much browse as you wait for the herd to move. <laughs> so this is not going to be the case. We're going to have breathing room. But I'm excited to see Pike will do this. Um, page 3 I know has a lot to do with bringing this. Yes. Page 3 has been in for a long time. How great is Page 3? Love it. Been, been going there since they were in Elkhorn. Right. <laughs> in this region, page three, especially this corner of the southwest tip of Virginia, that's our comic shop. That's where we go. It's always been that way. They've evolved. They've rolled with the punches. They survive. Um, totally stoked to be checking out this con. We're going to get you guys as much footage as we can, give you our thoughts, analysis, and just geek out. And uh, Thank you for watching, liking, and commenting below. And um, Brian and I are part of the Nerd Herd. We proudly attend the Grundy Buchanan County Public Library Comic Book Club. And you can too. Uh, check my Facebook when we have our meetings. Come join us. If you're in this vicinity, you should come talk to us. Come uh, geek out. Oh, yeah. I wanted to present this with, to Brian. This is a minifig of, uh, I call him Negan Batman, but it's Thomas Wayne Batman. It's one of those custom Legos. Oh, that's cool. So I wanted to give that to my homie for uh, for the hookup about, you know, traveling together to this show. I would not be able to make this show without his generosity today. So, bam. That's one for Brian. One pickup already. Yeah. Hey. Anything you're hunting for in particular that you would love to see? Oh, yeah. I've got, comic wise? I've got one comic in my sights that I've okay. looked for a couple of times. I tried to get it in an auction and I didn't get it because oh, I was working. I heard you won some of that stuff you bid on. Yeah, I got uh, oh, snap. part of the Walter that, Simonson. That, that doctor? Yeah, part, uh, part of Walter Simonson's run on Thor, which I was stoked about because a uh, huge fan of Simonson and his work. Uh, got introduced to him through um, early Thor and then his wife and he worked on X Factor, which I was an X-Men nerd forever. Right. Uh, got uh, the first appearance of Vader Ray Beal, so I like that. Okay. But I'm looking for a uh, web of Spider-Man. First appearance, Cloak and Dagger. Cause Cloak and Dagger, yeah. As a uh, kid, that was another right. line I love. Dumb them. characters resonated for you yeah. in, into this day. So. And that's actually why Brian is super stoked about the, uh, what's it called, ABC Family uh, the uh, new Freeform. Freeform show in yeah. January, right? I'm so pulling for it to succeed as a television Hopefully show. Hopefully it doesn't suck. Because Cloak and Dagger's never really succeeded as a comic, so their, their ser solo series have never really hung on for long. Uh, despite the fact some of them being quite enjoyable in some of the themes, they've had to They've changed the entire story of the Cloak and Dagger universe over the years. So mm -hmm. they've I'm, cu I'm curious to see what they do with this one because it looks like it's going to be the modern, more modern telling of the story. So we'll see. Let me I've ask you so. up. Do you think Marvel spends too much time rebooting heroes instead of creating new ones? Uh, or I think they balance both of them, but like, I don't. I don't know. I'm a, I'm old and I'm more of a numbers purist, and I just feel like I'm they, in that old club too. Man. I just feel like they do spend too much time trying to put out brand new issue number ones, mm -hmm. and I don't resets. I don't know if that's beneficial or not, but mm -hmm. it does kind of fake put people on idea of like jumping on points because so many people are used to. Uh, Oh, there's too many issues for me to catch up on to be able to read this, so I'm not going to do it. This kind of is a way for people to think like, oh, this is number one. I can pick this up. So I, <clears throat> good, bad, I'm not really deciding. Sit on the fence there. One more time, though. Maybe someone out there in the YouTube world. It's Spectacular Spider-Man 1. Uh, 62, I believe. Spectacular Spider-Man 62. If you have that book 
and you can help my friend Brian attain it. You want to get rid of it at a favorable market share price? Holler at me in the comments below. Email me. There's numerous ways to contact me on social media. It's all on my YouTube channel. So if you got that issue, it's Spectacular Spider-Man 62, I think. It's the one where Cloak and Dagger do. I remember that book from the 90s, bro. Well, that was from longer than that. that oh, was, uh, I think I found it in my local comic shop growing up I think when I got into it. 82, maybe? The Fox Spider-Man show in the 90s, the cartoon, mm -hmm. got Charles and I loving the characters and the universe, and we wanted more content. The show wasn't enough, so we finally got into comics heavy. Oh, yeah. Because of that spurt of the X-Men. The Fantastic Four show, the Iron Man show. Spider-Man pulled a lot of people in. That terrible Hulk show that was on UPN. <laughs> the figs that came out for that were great. Is there anything toy-wise you would love just to see or nothing's on your radar as far as figs mm, go? Nothing on my radar. Not even uh, Voltron? Uh, <laughs> uh, my Voltron Lego set? Yeah, yeah, yeah That's yeah, not yeah. out yet, though. Those ain't for sale yet. But anyway, guys, we're going to head that way. We're going to get you some more footage later. Um, yeah, so I'm just looking for cheap, loose figs. That's what I'm looking for. Maybe a book. If comic-wise, I would love to get something from the Venomverse summer thing that Marvel's done. I would love to have at least a issue of anything with these Venom variant covers. That's not overpriced. So anyway, that's it for now. We're going to head that way more when we get to the Expo Center. For those of you who watch my channel... Uh, that's the same venue that we went to watch WWE uh, Memorial Day weekend this year. So it'd be cool to see that place as a con. Yeah. It's the first time I've been in it. So You've right. not been inside it before? No. Nope. That's a cool venue, dude. Let me tell you. Anyway, guys, more later. Same man out for now. Brian, we're almost there. There's the Eastern Kentucky Expo Center. And to, for today, it is the first ever Pikeville Comic Con. So Brian and I are going to get in here, find out what's going on, and give you guys our thoughts and footage. We're looking for books, loose figures, and just... Uh, we'll see what kind of celebs are here. There's some kind of like people who are walkers and all yeah. that. Episode of Street Brian and I uh, forgot to do our wifey shout out, <laughs> so I'll let Brian go first. <laughs> like the thank my wife Angel for letting me come down here. Yes, uh, keeping the my little boy holding since it he's down. not feeling that good today. Uh, hopefully, I'll find him some cool toy, Sweet. and he will love it. What are you hunting for him? Yeah, he likes Lego anything. He loves it all. And uh, shout out to Sammy. To both wives for being so cool for this bro out day. <laughs> Let's get in here and find out what's going on. Yeah, name is uh, Roman. Roman? Yes. My name is Cody. Cody. And you are cosplaying as... Captain Kim Levi. Levi, all right. Very good outfit. I am the boss of Team Rock. Team Rocket in the flesh, and we're at Pikeville, uh, Kentucky, the first ever Pikeville Con. You guys live around here, or? I have, well, we actually live like 30 minutes from here. Okay. So it was right in your vicinity, though. Yeah. Pretty excited. We hope this show does well. Um, we were talking about our love of anime, uh, Attack on Titan in particular. Yes. Pokemon definitely is a, you know, a staple in anime. I mean, it has lasted 20 years, though. It's it's a long-standing. Uh, yeah, I don't think it'll ever die. It's one of those forever uh, like fandoms, for sure. Um, Attack on Titan season two is done. It's in the books, the English dub. 
We're eagerly awaiting season three. Thankfully, we won't have as long as the wait as we did between one and two. Yeah, not a four year. It's supposed to be next year, yeah. which is great. Um, we don't want to spoil anything for everyone who hasn't watched it yet. But man, the way season two ends, a lot of a lot more questions. Yeah, I have not seen the last episode yet. No. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I'll be extra careful then. Uh, you're in for a heck of a, a doozy there. <laughs> Absolutely. What are you uh, caught up to? Uh, uh, what episode where they took uh, uh, Aaron and the Armor Titan and they're running, they're on the yeah, run and, and they're very, chasing them? At the very end of the episode, Boy. you see the same Titan that ate Aaron's mom. You want to talk about a captivating anime. Yes. And I was trying to tell you earlier, Attack on Titan got me back into anime love again because the quality of it, the voice acting, the story, and uh, Cowboy Bebop was probably my all time favorite. But this show is slowly creeping its way up to that high list, you know, probably beneath Bebop. It, it could be uh, the next, well, Dragon Ball Z in popularity. I, I would not be surprised. And uh, it's uh, it's popular in every region, not just here in Japan. You know, like the whole world has just gone Attack on Titan nuts. Yeah, it's, it's actually on the point to where some people are actually starting to read manga. Is there any kind of merchandise you're hoping to find here re regarding? Um... Nothing in particular. Pops. Just, probably or... just like some, yeah, some souvenirs, like maybe Pops, maybe uh, Pokemon Plus if I'm lucky. All right. And uh, for you, sir, Team Rocket, what are you uh, hoping to snag today uh, swag-wise? I'm um, just at normal Team Rocket. Business. You're just doing your cosplay? You're going to enter in a competition for cosplay? I haven't decided yet. Well, you should give it a I shot, have. both of you. I think you'd stand a good chance. Thank you. Pretty uh, accurate. Thank you for your time. I'll give you boys my channel information so you can watch yourself on YouTube. Hopefully you'll like the video and subscribe and tell your friends. All right, boys. All right. That's it for now. Guys, we're here. We're in. Check out the scene. There's a lot of booths, a lot of tables. Um, shout out to Cavalier Comics. That's Brian's, used to be his regular stop for his book pickups when you worked in Norton. Yep. And uh, what's the owner of that guy? Uh, Brian Marcus. Marcus, okay. So looking forward to meeting him. Brian knows him, so it'd be cool to make that contact. I've heard that shop is amazing. It is, it's new. They, they relocated here recently, and it's a nice shop now. We're representing Grundy right now, G-Town. I've uh, got my Kentucky hat. <laughs> uh, let's get down there and, and see some stuff. Let's go. Let's go find that book. Oh yeah, let's go. We're gonna get that spectacular Spider-Man for Brian today. I feel it. <laughs> Feeling in my bones. All right, we're live, guys. Look who I found. This is Adam Syndicate, and we're representing. Represent. We're here, man. Syndicate is here in Pikeville. Hopefully, this will be the first of many of these cons here. I hope yeah. this one does great. So, so far, so good. It looks good to it me. It looks good. I've seen worse. Yeah. yeah um, good. Anything on your radar that you're hoping to find, or you're just open uh, looking for deals? Yeah, just looking around. I'm on, I'm a bargain pops. hunter, bro. Yeah. I'm on the low. <laughs> yeah, maybe some pops, some older. Okay. What What would be ideal? And we can't forget your lady now. Yeah, my wife's over here. Lovely wife. You should get in the syndicate too. Yeah. Or she just tag along. She's a makeup person. She well, don't much care I got wifey <laughs> approval to come to this today. So, <laughs> so you <dang laughs> shout it. out to the wife. Yeah. She's a real trooper. So, yeah, that's uh, awesome, man. Just well, uh, we're gonna get in here and see what we can see, and see probably that. touch bases later. So All right, sounds let good. Let y'all go and we'll check everything out. Yeah, we'll rendezvous and see what's going on. Sounds if good. If you find any deals, you let me know. Vice versa. All right, I'll Syndicate do it, family guys. Syndicate. Pikeville, Kentucky. That's right. Sam NPR blog. All right, first booth on my stop. Brian's looking at books. Josh Turner, that's me. Uh, Walking Dead, correct? That's right. TKO, Tattooed Savior, The Walking Dead. Most importantly though, we're telling you two things. And you better listen or we'll bash your head in. His blog, you better be checking it out. You better be watching it daily because if you're not, then you're not living the right life. Shame on you. Secondly, fighting for autism. All Check right. out the voice for the voiceless and represent. That's awesome. Remember, daily you better be watching. Better hit that we're watching like, you. Hit that like down below. Hit, hit that share. 
hit that subscribe, do it all, or we're gonna hit you. Lucille, Lucille she looks thirsty, so. Multiple times. Do me a favor, mash that like. Mash if you the want like me, right now. <laughs> continue uploading. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, brother. Mash the like, mash the subscribe, the share, mash it all. If it's not mashed, hit the mash in it. <laughs> mash it. That's awesome. Thank you, brother. These are amazing. Handcrafted. And where do you get the inspiration? Just your love of lore and... What's your inspiration, like, story-wise, book, media, or... Okay. Which that's no stranger to dragons. Harry Potter has dragon. <laughs> What's the difference between a dragon and a, a, a wearing? Is it a wearing? It's a kind of dragon. Right. It's a variation. And uh, these are gorgeous. Let me give you guys. Can they get these online as well? Facebook or anything? Yeah. Via email. Sherry Bright, <laughs> our amazing leader of Buchanan County Public Library. We're so excited for Minicon. Yes. So oh, are we considering this the fourth annual? Or is, did you reset the counter when we called it Mini Counter? Or no. Might as well say fourth. We love Minicon. We love our library. We love the staff. And uh, anything you can give us, uh, any kind of tidbit of what we can expect? Yes. We have local authors coming. Right. Um, we are going to be doing a panel on fanfic and on okay. uh, cookbooks. Come on in, guys. From movies and books and things. For awesome. example, we're going to be doing a panel with samples of True Blood, the True Blood. Yeah. Dead, King of Walking Dead, awesome. and Mayberry. Mayberry? Can't beat that. A <laughs> little bit of everything for some. Definitely come out to Minicon this year. Guys, I'll let y'all get to it. Thank you so much. Catch with you later. So here's page three comics. Pikeville, Kentucky's own local comic store. Love that store. Super generous of them. They are giving away a coupon that will give you 50% off of one item. Any one item. So I'm sure there's exceptions, but that's ex that's awesome. You can let Brian know. Page 3 Comics, Pikeville, Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky Expo Center. This is the first annual Pikeville Comic Con. And uh, we're stoked to be here. Very stoked. Houses and humans. <laughs> you D&D? &D? Oh, yeah. Dude, you got to teach me one day. And then... This one was a commission uh, Sims, Cerebus Aardvark. What about your book? No luck yet? No, no luck yet. I went through the dollar bin to look for some other ones. For me. Heck yeah, man. This is Inner Geek. I love this store. Yeah. This is, uh, I, I frequent Ashland all the time. I love Intergeek. I haven't been to their new location yet. They just got a new shop. Look at this, 70 bucks. Mm -hmm. You have that one? Yep. I mean, I, I do five minutes. I'm some fellow tubers here. Did you want to be on camera? What's your channel name, brother? Uh, Bat Hog Games and Comics. Bat Hog Games. Gaming Comics. Yeah. What's your first name? Austin. Austin, I'm, I'm Harry, and my channel is Sandman PR Vlog. What do you think so far of the show? It, it's so great. I mean, they're going to be in a little bit. They're going to be doing the uh, show or something. Is it up here or where, where are they going to do it? I haven't, I haven't heard yet. Yeah. Like panels or something? Yeah. Awesome. 
because I heard the guy from uh, Archie's going to be here. Oh, really? From, uh, what's it called, Riverdale or whatever? The live action one? Um, like the guy who started this. Oh. But I am, if they do like questions or something like that, I'm going to ask, why are you quitting the Sonic series? Seriously, dude. Sonic fan in the house. Can't yeah. blame you. Sonic fans passionate about that property and are you excited for the new game? Oh, Forces and what, yeah. what are you picking it up on? PS4? Uh, Switch. Switch. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. awesome. Uh, I guess that's it. Plug your, sh your channel one more time. Let me see your uh, spelling of it and stuff. Bat Hog Games and Comics. Uh, I'm on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. and Tumblr. Instagram coming? Uh, Soon? maybe. All right. Maybe. Thank you, man. Have a good show. Uh, for now, guys, it's a great show so far. Hopefully, this will be the first of many cons for Piper. Yeah. All righty. Auger. I want this stuff. Awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome costume, guys. All three of y'all, really. Amazing. Love your fandom. Enjoy your show.